Hi everyone, I'm so excited to have one of our last days together learning about ocean animals. So we are gonna go ahead and do attendance. Let's see who's swimming into the ocean with us today. Ready? Sebastian, Hannah, Jackson, Emmy, Kendall, Sarah, Hunter, Luca, Jameek, Kenley, Liam, Garrett, Mark, Carter, Roland, Diana, Brian, Clyde, Gavin, Michael, and Cheyenne. I hope you are all able to swim into the ocean with us today. Let's go ahead and do our calendar. Our month is June. Can you say that? Awesome. Let's say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're getting so good at that. Let's count together to see what today is and where we need to move the jellyfish. Ready? One, two, three. If you said four, you would be right. You can look up to see our day of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Thursday, June 4th. It's the fourth day of June. So let's go ahead and do our ocean words for the end of this week. Ready? I think you can say them with me if you look at the pictures. Ready? Jellyfish. Awesome. Dolphin. Crab. Sea turtle. And whale. Great job, friends, doing your ocean words. We're gonna do this activity called Where Do We Live? And we have to figure out if these pictures at the bottom live in the ocean or on the land. And we've learned all year about different types of animals and where they live, like zoo animals and farm animals, Arctic animals. So now we have to figure out where these animals live. And they live in the ocean, which is a big, big area of water that we can swim in, um, or if it's on the land. Okay, so let's see. First, we have the frog. Does the frog live in the ocean or on the land? Hmm. In the ocean, in the big, big ocean, or on the land? The frog lives on the land. And we do know that the frog w lives in a pond also, but that is on the land too. It's not in the ocean. All right, how about the octopus? Does the octopus live on the land or in the ocean? An octopus lives in the ocean. How about a person. Does a person live on land or the ocean? Do you live on the land or in the ocean? You live on the land. Okay, in the ocean. It lives in the ocean. And if you go to the beach, you can see dolphins there usually. How about a whale? Does it live in the ocean or on the land? In the ocean. All right, we have two more. How about the crab? Does the crab live in the ocean or on the land? Crab lives a crab lives in the ocean. And sometimes we see it on the land, but like on the beach, but that's because it's come out of the ocean. All right, our last one is the elephant. Does the elephant live on the land or in the ocean? And we've learned about the elephant. It lives on the land. And we know that an elephant is a jungle or a zoo animal. All right, friends. So I have a story I wanna share with you today. And it is about the time of the year where you would go visit the ocean or the beach. Um, and because we have a new season coming, so I wanna share that book with you. So this is the story that I would like to read with you. It's called, Let It Shine. And look at those kids, where are they at? They're at the beach, probably at the ocean there and i bet there's ocean animals and plants out there too somewhere so this story is by marianne coca leffler she wrote the story and drew the pictures so let it shine what season do we visit the beach 
Do we visit it in the winter? No. Do we visit it in the, in the fall? Not usually. Do we visit in the spring? Which was like now and a couple months ago. No, that's when it's cool outside. We visit it in the summer. So summer is coming. So we have to read this story to talk about that season. All right, are you ready? Let it shine. It's summer. Wow, it's just about summertime. Swimming, splashing, lazy days. Hammock, hot dogs, lemonade. So these are all things you might do or have in the summertime. Rocks and seashells, shovel and pail, castle building, boats to sail. So you might take a trip to the beach and get to do some of these things. But then, sandy, sticky, painful sunburn, outdoor showers, wait your turn. So sometimes we don't love all the things that come with summer like bugs and sunburn and sand. Let it shine, waving flags proudly fly, sparkling fireworks light the sky. Does anybody know what this holiday is that we have in the summertime where we usually watch fireworks and have flags out? It's called 4th of July. Camping, singing under stars, catching fireflies in a jar. So those are some activities you can do in the summer. But then, wide awake, spooky night. Hot and sweaty, itchy bites. So they're out camping. Let it shine, peanuts, popcorn, baseball fun, pitching, swinging, winning run. So there's usually lots of sports in the summertime too. I don't know how many sports they will be this year because we're trying to keep the germs away. But usually in the summertime we get to watch sports. Fresh tomatoes, corn and peas, gather peaches from the trees. So they're picking their vegetables and fruits. But soon, vacation's over, no more pool, going shopping for back to school. Time for sweaters, chilly breeze, wilted flowers, changing trees. And this will be our next season after summer. Autumn will come, let it fall. So right now it is summertime. It's getting ready to be summertime. But then soon enough, summer will be over and we'll be starting fall and we'll be right back at school again. And you will have a new teacher because Mrs. Lear and I want to share you with another teacher. We think you are so wonderful to spend time with that we want to share you with a new teacher so they can get to know you. And you'll be in kindergarten having a great time. And I'm not sure how that'll look. We hope that you will be in school like we were earlier in the school year. But I want you to have an amazing summer and do lots of fun things with your family and really enjoy the weather, the nice warm weather and be outside and do fun things together. So tomorrow you'll be getting um, a video with a craft for Mrs. Lear. And then um, next week I'll send out, our videos will be done for every day, but I'll send out a couple stories um, that I'll read to you and you can watch them. Um, and they might be about the end of the year, we're going to kindergarten, about different changes happening. And then next Friday, I'm so, or next Thursday, oh my goodness, next Thursday, I'm so excited. We'll have our celebration video meeting. And that's when you're going to get your little awards on the computer. Your family can join us um, from different computers. 
and we'll have our um, all of our pictures from throughout the year. We'll put in a little video with music and it'll be really fun to see everybody and all the things from throughout the year. So I can't wait for you to join me next Thursday for that. Um, and I look forward to spending that time with you. And I hope that I get to see you very, very soon because I miss you so much. Um, and I wish that we weren't having our last um, class together on the computer, but I know that we'll get to be together before too long. So I hope you guys have a great day and that you enjoy Mrs. Lear's video tomorrow of her craft. Bye friends.